Come on, let's give the Lord praise, give the Lord glory, give the Lord honor on this blessed Sunday morning. Amen. We're like David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. We welcome you to the Greater Mount Carey Missionary Baptist Church, located 3835 Whitewater Road, right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. We thank God for another day's journey, being able to come to his house of worship. At this time, we're going to open up with prayer. We're going to ask that uh, Minister Marcella uh, McCaga will come and lead us in our opening prayer on this morning. Good morning, Mount Calvary. Good morning. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we come in your son Jesus' name. Lord, we come giving you thanks this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for breathing the breath of life into us. We thank you, God, for giving us the opportunity to be in your house one more time. We thank you for giving us opportunity to see and behold your beauty of this day. God, we thank you for being so good and so great and merciful on this morning. Oh God, we thank you for how you kept us all night long. Oh God, we thank you, God, hallelujah, that we're still able this morning, hallelujah. Nobody had to dress us this morning, but God, you clothed us in our right mind, God. You gave us use and activity of our limbs this morning. And for that, God, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Lord, we don't need a rock to cry out for us this morning, Lord. Because, God, we're grateful on this morning. We appreciate you this morning, Lord. Lord, we magnify your name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exhort his name together because he's worthy. He is 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 worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we welcome you. We welcome you into this place, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way on this morning, God. Take control, Lord. Set the captives free on this morning, Lord. Loose every chain on this morning, God. As a matter of fact, God, break every chain. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Prepare our hearts on this morning, God. Help us to be a receiver on this morning, God. Help us to give you our best praise this morning. Help us to offer up our best this morning, God, because you gave us your best. So help us to bless, magnify your name, God. Help us to give you our best on this morning, God, because you're worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, God, prepare our hearts, God. Oh, God, that we will receive everything that you have for us, God. Don't let us leave the same way we came in, God. But fill our cup on this morning, Lord. Fill our cup, Lord. Fill our cup, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. And Lord, help us to be a receiver of your word, God. Let your word fall on good ground this morning, Lord. And for that, God, we praise your name, God. We praise you in advance. We thank you in advance, Lord. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Father, all these things we ask, we ask them in your son Jesus' name. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. I will dance. Oh, yeah.
when the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will pray like the even pray. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will pray like the even pray. I will pray. Oh, yeah. Of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will sing like David sang. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will sing like David sang. I will sing. Oh, yeah. Yes, I will. The spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will dance like David danced. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. I will dance. I will dance. I will We give honor to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We say we honor our pastor, our first lady, our ministers, and all of you in your respective places. It is so good to see you here again on another Sunday morning. God has blessed us 
once again. And for that, we ought to say, thank you, Lord. We ought to lift our hands and give him glory. We ought to just raise our hand and let somebody know that God has brought us through another day. We want to thank you again here in person at our Sunday morning service. And to those of you who are watching with us online, we say join us on Wednesdays for our Wednesday night live word at 7 p.m. Of course, you know that the link to join us is always www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org and forward slash live. And then we want you to take a little time of your lunch break with the Lord. Please join the Sister to Sister Ministry at 12 noon on Wednesdays for a conference called Noonday Prayer. Of course, you know the number to call is still 701-802-5337, and the access code is 683-1205 and the pound symbol. Now, on today, after morning worship, the male choir will be rehearsing immediately following this service. Uh, we're asking all the men to please join them to please prepare to sing during our upcoming Father's Day celebration, which is on next Sunday. Then on Thursday, June the 16th, 2020, at 7 p.m., you're invited to come out to fellowship, participate, and support the pre-recorded service for the Spotlight Wednesday Night Live service for June, which is hosted by the Music, Dance, Media, and Sound Ministries. You don't want to miss this event. Attention all youth choir members and parents. We are asking that the youth come out this Thursday night uh, at 7, but if you please have them here a little bit early, around 6.30 or 6.45, to participate in the youth choir during the pre-recording for the month of June. There is no specific color, but we do ask that you dress them real nice. Parents, we just ask for your assistance, and we appreciate you for doing what you do to help us uplift the kingdom of God. The Mount Calvary Sister Sister Ministry will have our conference call, uh, prayer and praise for the women of Calvary on this Saturday, June 18th at 6 a.m. Please join us by calling our number and the same access code that you would for the other occasions. On Sunday, June the 19th, also at 11 a.m., the New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church Anniversary in Clydeville, Georgia. Pastor Vincent will be the guest speaker. And then uh, on Saturday, June the 28th, uh, the 25th, I'm sorry, at 11 a.m. in the church parking lot, our Sister Sister Ministry will be having our monthly Bible trivia game. We ask all the sisters and sisters, please come out and just share with us. This should be a fun time for each and every one of us. Then we will have what we call summer vacation. That will begin the entire month of July. There will be no Wednesday night word, Bible study, rehearsals, or church outings or events. We will still have our regular in-person Sunday morning services at 8 a.m. We're asking that you enjoy your summer vacation. We want to say happy birthday to everybody who's celebrating this month of June. We pray that God will bless you real good. A special thank you. Every kindness has a part in bringing joy to someone's heart. It's sometimes easy to forget that there are nice people out there doing nice things for others. Thanks for being such a special reminder. Thanks to our Mount Calvary Church family for your prayers and all acts of kindness shown to us during the passing of our loved one, the Clemens and the Max family. And again, we want to say that we thank God for each of you being here and that our thought for the month is, no matter how hard the past is, you can always begin again. Yeah. 
blessing in the house and I'm next how many believe I'm next this morning amen to God be the glory for the things that he has done and the things that he continue to do what an awesome God that we serve that he get all the praise and he get all the glory and he get all the honor it is good to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. We ought to give God praise for that. Amen. To be able to come back and worship him in spirit and in truth. We honor God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It's our ministerial staff here at my care, Minister Mike Dugan, Minister Cephas, Minister Sheraton, Minister McCargo, Minister Holmes in his absence. To their spouses, we're just glad to be in the number one more time. To lift up the name. Oh, Jesus, to our deacons, mothers, saints, and friends, to my lovely wife this morning, Lady Evelyn Diane Vincent, to all the God people in their own respective places. It's indeed to be back, amen, and worship God in spirit and in truth. I want to talk with you from a familiar scripture on this morning, amen, Proverbs, the third chapter, and verse number five and verse number six, Proverbs three, five, and six. Simply says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. I need to read that again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory on this blessed Sunday morning. Thank you for another chance. Thank you for another opportunity to come and share your word and worship you in spirit and in truth. Father, we thank you for these that are here in person. We thank you for those that are gathering in virtual land. And Father, we pray now, Lord, that our coming will not be in vain. But God should give us a word this very hour, this very moment, that your people stand in the need of, that we don't get in the praise, that we don't get in the glory, we don't get in the honor, but all the praise and all the glory belongs unto you. Father, give us preaching and teaching power in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep us near the cross. And Lord, we'll give your name the praise, we'll give your name the glory, and we'll give your name the honor. In Christ Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Amen. We don't own the rights or privileges to this short uh, excerpt video. On two occasions, 16 years apart, you'll sit in a doctor's office and be told you have cancer. The words will shake you to your core, but don't panic. You'll take to heart what one of the technicians told you as you were having your body scanned. You may have cancer, but it doesn't have you. Three words will become your personal mantra, trust God, period. Medicine and surgery will fix you, but it's your faith, your family, and your friends who will sustain you. Amen. Amen. Just for a few moments on this morning, I want to preach from the text, trust God, period. Trust God, period. The person he was looking at was Ernie Johnson. He's a familiar name and a voice to millions 
and basketball fans being featured more than over 30 years in the NBA on TNT. And the CBS Mornings this week, he was on with a series of note to self. Johnson was simply reflecting back on his career and family and his emotional letter to his younger self, which was aired on June the 2nd, <coughs> amen, 2022. He talked about his adopted son from Romania and with the muscular dystrophy and caring for his every need. Then he described his own very public, public cancer battle within itself. But it was powerful, as simple as, as I was, it was riveting by his mantra or his statement or his slogan, trust God, period. Amen, trust God, period. When we say that this morning, we are saying that with, with great confidence and assurance in the Lord, not wavering at all. We're not debating it. We're not discussing it. We're not deliberating it. We're not, amen, having a dissertation on it. We trust God, period. In our situations, in our circumstance, in our dilemma, in our problem, and in our life, and in our family, in our faith, and in our finances, even in our fight for survival, in our marriages, in our, amen, on our jobs, in our health, in everything, in every way, and in every day. We're always told to have faith and to trust God. And in certain situations, that is easier said than done. Can I get a witness? Amen. amen. We sometimes think things will be easier <coughs> if we take it into our own hands. But nobody ever said having faith would be easy, but it will be worth it. God makes the impossible happen. I say God makes the impossible happen. How is that possible to live life trusting God? No matter what. I need to ask that question again this morning. How is that possible to live life trusting God no matter what? How is it possible to live life with its ups and downs and heartaches and un uncertainties? Could I be straight up here today? I do. I really do trust God. What? Period. The reason I do is not that I know. Amen. The reason I do is that I know God's heart is good. I said the reason I do it, I know that God's heart is good, period. I do not have to understand his ways and the things that he allows to come our way, but that we ought to be content with knowing how very good his heart always is. For the scripture says, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good mm, because his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is what? Good. Amen. Number one, I want to let you know tonight, this morning that God, he knows better than we. God knows better than we do. God knows everything that we might be going through. At this very moment and everything we will go through in the future, he knows the best way to handle every situation so that we get the possible, the best possible outcome that we need to trust him with that. We need to follow his path and trust that he knows best because he really does. He knows better than we do. But when we ask, James 1 and 6 says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Don't doubt God, but believe God. Trust God. Why? Because he knows better than we do. <coughs> all things, number point, number point number two is all things are possible with God. I say all things are possible with God. He knows the desires of our heart. If you trust in him with the things that you want in most, he will take care of it. He knows what is best for your life. And if you feel like your goals are hard to achieve or even impossible, my brothers and sisters, think again. Anything is possible with God. Anything is possible with God. I need to say that for somebody in the back on this morning. Anything is possible with God. He has your back. and will help you through anything. And all you do is have to have faith and trust in him. Why? Because Mark, amen, 923 reminds us, Lady Vince, if you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who what believes. Amen. Everything is possible for one who believes in God. Number three, this morning, God, he is worthy of our trust. I say God is worthy 
of our trust. Having faith is having trust. You have to trust with your entire being that God has your back and that he will help you and take care of you. He will he knows what is best. But to truly embrace what he has planned for you, you have to fully trust him. Our trust is not a foolish trust. Y'all don't get that this morning. I say our trust is not a foolish trust. But our God is both faithful and good. I say he's both faithful and good. Can I challenge you this morning to dig into the scriptures and acquaint yourself with the promises of God, with his long-suffering faithfulness to the Israelites, to Abraham, to us, and to all. Get to know the character of God and joy and willingness to trust him, your will soon be abound. Yeah, that's why we read this morning in Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge, submit yourself and acknowledge him and he will, amen, direct your path, make your path straight, amen. God will do it for you. Yeah, trust God, period. Yeah, number four, he knows what he's doing. Anybody, can I get a witness this morning? That God knows what he's doing. God knows what he's doing. God knows exactly what he wants for your life. Yeah, he has a purpose for you. And every, he has everything planned out for you. He knows who you are. And, amen, he knows who you're going to marry. He knows how many kids you're going to have. He knows what job you'll have. He knows every detail of your life. But the scripture said, God even knows the number has on your head. Somebody said, well, Pastor, I got a bald head. He still know where them, part, where them part, bald head parts at. at. Amen. Well, amen. God knows both the big. And God knows even the small. He knows what you're going, amen, to do on tomorrow. He knows next month's plans. He knows the years down the road. And no doubt, amen, no, do not doubt God's plan because he knows all and he has a, a perfect plan for you, 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 and especially you. I'm so glad that God knows. He knows what he is doing. You might not know what you're doing, but God knows what he's doing. Someone said, how do you know that God knows what he's doing? Because Jeremiah, amen, 29, 11 said, for I know the plans and the thoughts that I have for you. Says the Lord, plans for what? Peace and well-being, not for disaster, but to give you a future and to give you hope. God knows everything he needs to know about you. I'm so glad that I'm in God's planning book. Y'all ain't caught that yet. I said, I'm so glad that I'm in God's planning book. God knows every plan that, amen, God sketched me in his planning book. And he knows what I need, when I need it, and how I need it, and where I need it. God knows everything that he knows about you and about me. I'm so glad he knows. And I'm so glad I'm reminded this morning that, amen, trust God, period. I ain't going to talk about it. I ain't going to fuss about it. I ain't going to go in no long, amen, conversation with it. But trust God, period. Yeah, yeah, why? Because, amen, Psalms 100, and I love it because it reminds us, that make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. In other words, I don't care if you in Georgia or North Carolina, that's still the land. I don't care if you're in Jamaica, that's still the land. I don't care if you're in Hawaii, that's still the land. I don't care if you're in Russia, that's still the land. I don't care if you're in Ukraine, that's still the land. And you can make a joyful Lord noise unto the Lord everywhere that you go. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. I got a song I can sing. Know that the Lord, he is God. And it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. I need to say that again. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. And if God has made us, he'll make everything else all right. We are his people. Hallelujah. And the sheep of his pastors. Enter into his gates. Y'all don't hear me this morning with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. See, this is, y all, some of y'all ain't caught that yet. When you enter into the gates, you, you, you're right at the outside. You're on the, on, you're on the perimeter of things. It's that enter the gates with thanksgiving. But when you come on inside a little closer, 
when you get inside the court, when you get inside a little closer to God, when you when you you can start giving him thanks when you get at the gate, when you but when you get inside the inner circle, when you get a little closer to God, you begin to amen give God what praise. See, there's a difference in thanksgiving than in the difference in praise. Uh, Y'all ain't caught that yet. When I get outside the gate, when I get outside the gate, when I wake up in the morning and start coming, amen, to the house of the Lord, I begin giving him thanksgiving. But when I get inside the courts, I begin to give God praise. I don't know where you at this morning, but somebody say I'm in the courts this morning. And I can't help myself. I got to give God praise and I got to give God glory. I got to can't help it. Why? Because when I come into the gates, uh, amen, when I come into the gates, uh, amen, when I come into the gates, uh, I'm outside the gate when I come into the gates. Some begin to happen. Some begin to change. That's why David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us. He didn't say go by yourself. But he said, let us. Amen. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord? Yeah, in into his gates with thanksgiving, in his courts with praise. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful unto him. And what bless? His name. I got something to bless him about this morning. You got something to bless him about this morning. I got something to bless him about. Why? Because for the Lord. For the Lord. For the Lord. I didn't say the government, but I said for the Lord. is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures through all generations. Yeah, I'm glad about it. That's why I get excited. Because why? Amen. I can trust God. Period. Because I understand that God is good. Yeah, I understand that whatever I'm going through, whatever I'm dealing with, whatever I'm fighting with, whatever I'm struggling with, whatever come my way, at the end of the day, I know that God is good. Can I get the witness this morning that God is good? He's been good to you. He's been good to me. He keeps on blessing you over and over and over and over again. If I couldn't say nothing else about God, I can still say that God is good. Good. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me when you get tired of your body and can't seem like you can't make it at the end of the day. You can say God is good. When you wake up every morning, you ought to be able to say the Lord is good. Yeah, I don't care if chaos is happening around you and all. The world is falling apart, but I got a testimony. I don't care whatever I got, I got a testimony to tell the world that God is good. Oh, y'all don't hear me this morning. I can park right there and, and sit there a while and sit there and park right there for a while and say, God is good. Why you say God is good? And somebody say, down through the years. The Lord has been good to me. Somebody I can look across the years of time and say, the Lord been good to me. The Lord helped me to raise my children. The Lord been good to me. The Lord put food on my table. The Lord been good to me. The Lord keep on making a way out of no way. The Lord been good to me. <laughs> Yeah, one of, the, one of the greatest threats, my brothers and sisters, this morning, is that the enemy will come against us. And our ability to trust God, he'll bring about fear. Of course, that's acceptable to Christian word we call worry. But somehow worry can even seem notable and justified, though it is not. Somebody say, if you're going to, amen, if you're going to pray, don't worry. And if you're going to worry, don't pray. Y'all got that down, don't you? But honey, it's, it's, it's more real than that. It sounds good. Don't make you feel like you want to go, boom, glory. Make you want to feel good. But then when you're facing life troubles, worry will come knocking on your door. When you got a bill that you don't know where you're going to have, what you're going to do, and how you're going to get out of it, and don't have nothing else coming in, Amen. Next month, this month, or whatever to get you out of that situation. Don't you sit there and tell me that worry won't knock on your door. But you got to learn how to stand flat-footed, amen, and look the devil in the face and say, trust God, period. I'm going to trust God, period. If God did it way back then, 
He can do it now. I said, if he did it way back then, he can do it now. And when we worry, it, makes, it means that we have a small trust in God. And I look at what God said over in the scripture that is with me. He is with me. He is with you. Friend, if your phone rings tomorrow and bad news is on the other end, it is true that God is with you. If you're in a season of sorrow or loss, if you are in a fight of your lifetime, if your spouse or your significant other have told you they want to be done with you, it is still true, Christians. God is with you. Three promises from God that we can stand on today. From Deuteronomy 20, uh, Brother Macago, in verse 1 through 4. And I won't read it for you this morning, but you go and get into it for yourself. But it simply says that God says to you, and I want to leave this with you on this morning. These three promises from God in his word. He said, I will be with you. Y'all don't know when to shout. It's something about other folks being with you. But it's nothing about when God says, I will be with you. If God said, I will be with you, that means he got, you got the whole kitten in caboodle. You got everything that you need. Amen. Because he said, I am Jehovah Jireh, the Lord that will provide. I'll be with you, the Lord that healeth thee. The Lord that healeth thee. The Lord that delivereth thee. The Lord that make a way out of no way with thee. The Lord that turned the situation around. The Lord that made heaven and earth. The Lord said, let there be and there was. I will be with you. You got everything that you need. I'm glad that I got God with me this morning. Woo, yeah. Lady Vincent told me this morning, told me last night, said, Pastor, you just, you just go in there and you just talk a little bit. Stay calm. You, 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 ain't, you ain't quite there yet, but just, just stay calm. I'm trying to, trying to stay calm this morning. But preaching still like it's want to come on me this morning. But God says, I will be with you. And not only did that, amen, another promise, amen, Mr. Sheridan, he said, I will fight for you. Yes, sir. I will fight. Put him up, y'all. <laughs> when God put his up, when God put his up, when God say I'll fight for you, when God say I'll be there for you, and I'll fight for you, he got the best uppercut that ever could happen. Why? Because God say I'll fight for you. When they lie on you, I'll fight for you. When they mistreat you, I'll fight for you. When they stab you in the back, I'll fight for you. When they call you everything but a child of God, I'll fight for you. When they dig a ditch for you, I'll fight for you. I'll do it for you because I'm God and I can win every battle and I can beat every devil. I can handle every demon. I can handle every force. I'm glad. I'm glad. When God put them up, the devil got to put them down. When God put them up, the devil can't handle it. I'm so glad that I got God in the ring with me. I got God fighting for me. He said, you don't have to worry about it. Don't wait till the battle is over, but you can shout now. Shout while the fight going on. Shout while the battle's going on. Shout in the midst of the trouble. Shout when everything seems like it ain't gonna make it out. I got a shout on the inside because God says I'll be with you and I'll fight 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 on fight on fight on fight on Christian soldier fight on when you feel like it ain't gonna win but keep on fighting trust God period Lastly, lastly, he said in Deuteronomy 20, verse 1 through 4, I'll be with you. Brother Andy Hart, I'll be with you. And I'll fight for you. And I will, number three, I will 
give you the victory. I'll be with you. I'll fight for you. And I'll give you the victory. Drop the mic, y'all. I said, you ought to drop the mic. Because if God said, I'll be with you, and I'll, amen, fight for you, and then I'll give you. He didn't say, I'll lend it to you. He didn't say, you got to borrow it. Y'all ain't called it yet. But he said, I'll give you the victory. What you crying for. What you mummering for. What you complaining for. Because God said, I'll give you the victory here. And I'm so glad that God will give us the victory. But I'm not, somebody say, I'm not feeling my best, Pastor. It don't matter how you feel. Faith in God is what God promised. And it's not based on our feelings, but it's based on who God is and what God has promised. I say it's based on who God is and what God has promised. And the reason I trust God, period, is that God is good. <laughs> I said the reason I trust God, Deacon Daniels, uh, is that God is good uh, and he is with me uh, and he will fight for me uh, and because he will give me the victory. Uh, somebody say victory is mine. Uh, victory is mine. Uh, I told Satan uh, that victory is mine. Uh, yeah, I come to tell you this morning uh, that victory is yours uh, and you don't have to amen, continue to take matters uh, in your own hand but trust God now you're free don't worry about it don't wake up with a weight on you but release it and trust in God release the hold on your life and trust the creator the God who made heaven and earth I come to tell you sister Bergman there is no storm that God won't carry you through there is no bridge that God won't help you cross. There is no battle that God won't help you win. Trust God, period, and never give up. I need to say that again this morning. To trust God, period, and never give up. Why? Because the Lord, he is good all by himself. God has been good to you. And God has been good to me. Huh? And I ain't got a doubt about it. Huh? I ain't got to fret about it. Huh? I ain't got to worry about it. Huh? But one thing I know, huh? that I can trust God, period. Huh? I can trust God, period. Huh? When I wake up in the morning, huh? do you trust God, period. Huh? When you go to bed at night, huh? do you trust God, period. Huh? When you got trouble in your home, huh? do you trust God, period. Huh? When your children act in the food, huh? do you trust God, period. Huh? When the job cutting up huh, and they could not folks huh, do you I trust God period huh, when you got pain in your body huh, and you go to the doctor huh, and he can't give you no kind of answer huh, do you trust God period huh, do you trust God period huh, with your mind huh, with your body huh, with your soul huh? the old saint said huh, I'm gonna trust in the Lord huh, until I die huh? I'm gonna stay on the battlefield huh, until I die huh? I'm gonna wait on him huh? Until I die, I'm going to trust in him. I ain't got nothing else but to trust in the Lord. You can't depend on the Republican Party. You can't depend on the Republican Party. You can't depend on the Democratic Party. You can't depend on any kind of party. But I can depend on the Lord. I can depend on God. I can trust God with everything I got. I can trust God to help me along the way. I can trust God to hold my hand. I can trust God to give me what I need and everything I got because I trust God to work it out for me. I trust God to make a way out of no way. I trust God to do what he can do and know that he can do it because I trust God, period. I trust God, period. I know he can and I know he will because the word of God lets us know what the God I serve, that he's able, he's able, he's able. I say he's able. I know he is. I know he can and I know he will. Yes, yes he can. Yes he can. Yes he can. God is God is, God is, God is. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I got to get out of here this morning and leave y'all alone, but I feel all right right there. Trust God, period. Trust God, period. Do y'all know this morning, I was just a few weeks ago, I went to the doctor and I had a cough and I thought I just had a cough and it said, Pass, Brent, Mr. Vincent, we're going to check you for three things. We're going to check you for the flu, we're going to check you for strep throat, and we're going to check you for COVID. And the lady came back said, you ain't got the flu. You ain't got a man strep throat, but Mr. Vincent, you do have COVID. And the devil came to my mind while I was sitting right there in the hospital, in that place where I went to the doctor. And the devil came to my mind and started want to talk to me, want to say this and that, and want to throw the numbers at me. But look at this one that didn't make it. Look at this one that didn't survive. But I walked out of there got in my car and I made up my mind that I'm gonna trust God period I'm gonna trust God period give me the medication give me what you got to give me but I'm gonna trust God period I'm gonna trust God period and a few days the same day my wife went to the same doctor and they said she was negative but then a few days later she kept on coughing and she quit back again and they said she was positive but even at that time I still came back with the same reservation that I'm gonna trust God period I'm gonna trust God period I don't care who else died I'm sorry for him I hate it happened for him but I thank God I thank God that I made up my mind that I'm gonna trust God period and I declared in my spirit that I shall not die but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord I came back this Sunday just to let the devil know that I'm still here came back this Sunday to let the devil know that I'm still alive came back this Sunday to let God know that I appreciate him came back this Sunday and let the devil know you tried to kill me but God let me live another day's journey and I'm glad about it I'm glad about it I'm glad about it and not only that God blessed me and he blessed my wife we still standing still standing I'm glad I'm glad that God did it I'm glad that God made a way I'm glad that he turned it around I could have been in my grave but look at God look at God look at God look at God look at God, look at God. yeah Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? If I couldn't say a word, if I couldn't say a word, if I couldn't say a word, I'll just wave, I'll just wave, I'll just wave my hand. I thank God, I thank God that he let me live. I thank God that he let me survive. I thank God that he brought me out and I dare not, I dare not come in his house uh, and sit there uh, like he ain't done nothing for me uh, I dare uh, come and sit here uh, like God ain't brought me out uh, I dare to come uh, into the house of the Lord uh, and don't tell him thank you uh, don't tell him thank you uh, trust God uh, trust God uh, period uh, trust God uh, period uh, trust God uh, period uh, yeah yeah! 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 And... Won't he, won't he, won't he do it? 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 I got to leave y'all this morning, but I got one more thing to say. If God, if God, if God don't do anything else for me, if God 
don't do anything else for me. He's already, he's already, he's already, he's already, he's already, he's already, he's already done enough for me. Yeah. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Ain't he all right? Woo! Yes, sir. God is all right where you stand. I'm going to quit right there. Deacon Neal, I'm going to put a pin in it. I'm going to put a pin in it. But just wave at somebody near you and say, trust God, period. You ain't said it like you mean it. Trust God. Period. Trust him, period. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Period. And in other words, I ain't got no more to say about it, Brother McCarver. I ain't got nothing else to say about it, Sister Berryman. That's it. I'm trusting God. Period. Period. Baby, I'm done with it. Because I'm trusting God, period. If you're here today don't have a church home and want to be my Calvary, your church home, we invite you to come. The door stand up and welcome here to the Calvary for church membership. Amen. Will you come? Amen. For, by Christian experience, will you come? Amen. A candidate for baptism, will you come? If you're not saved today, don't know the Lord and the part of your sin, we open the doors for salvation on this morning. You can be saved. You can receive Christ as your Savior. If you're watching virtually, you can all you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive for all my sins and my transgression. Lord, save me. I want to live for you. I want to be your child. I want to be a part of your kingdom. I receive you in my heart, my mind, soul, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Is there one? Is there one? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Nobody is saying this song. I need the Lord. I need thee.
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. On behalf of self and Lady Vincent, we certainly thank all of you for your phone calls, your texts, your drop-offs. Amen. Some folks just dropped off stuff. They didn't even tell us they were just, say, Pastor, we in the driveway. We, we dropping this off. And folks brought us food. And amen. I even had one of our deacons, amen. Uh, deacon Jenny had one of our deacons, amen, threatened me. He said, Pastor, if I hear in the streets, you need a something I ain't know about it. It's going to be trouble. I said, all right, I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't want to get beat up. But we thank God for people don't just say, say they love you. Here at Mount Calvary, they show they love you. Amen. Amen. They show they love and they mean what they say. And amen. We thank God for what you did for us during our time of sickness and illness. We thank you for your love. Amen. Every text, every phone call, every gesture of love, we thank you for it. If you just prayed for us and thought about us, we thank you. We thank God for our ministers standing in the gap for us. Amen. Minister Mike Duggan, Minister Sheraton, Minister Cephas, Minister Holmes, and Minister McCargo, we thank you for standing in the gap for our deacon ministers standing in the gap. It's good that when you're a pastor, when you're a pastor, and you leave and you don't have to worry about nothing. Everything is in good hands. Isn't that right? When you get back, the church is still going and still thriving and still doing what it needs to do. That comes, amen, because, amen, they've been trained. They know what they need to do and got to do what they got to do. Amen. I tell the ministers all the time, don't come to church empty-handed because when you don't never know, I might have to pass you the mic. I might have an emergency I have to leave, but amen, be ready all the time to deliver the word of God. Amen. Why? Because God get the praise, God get the glory and the honor. We love you. We appreciate you. Amen. We're just glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. One more time to be in the house of the Lord. We're getting ready to go. Amen. But I understand on tomorrow. We don't do this. Amen. Amen. We don't do this. Amen. Quite often we don't do it. Amen. Really. But every blue moon we do it. But I Amen. Felt it in my heart this morning that I want to be a blessing to somebody. Amen. Y'all don't mind that, do you? <clears throat> that I want to be a blessing to somebody. So, amen. I want to be a blessing, amen, to our, amen, new church mother, Monsanto Hart. Come stand up here, Monsanto. Amen. Come on, stand up here, Monsanto. She ain't said nothing to me about this. But I want us to help her go to lunch today. Is it all right? Amen. I want, amen. I ain't asking you so much. Pastor, what? You got there. I'm just asking you to just give her just a dollar. That's all you got to do is give her a dollar. You want to give her more than that? That's fine. But if you want, amen, because on tomorrow she celebrate her 75th birthday. Isn't that all right? Amen. And she is our newly appointed church mother. We want to honor her, amen, this year. Amen. Some say, well, Pastor, you going to do that every year? No, I ain't saying that. But we're going to do it this year. Because we don't know what life may bring. While we're here, while we can bless somebody, the word bless them. Amen. While we can. Father, we thank you, God. We give you praise. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor on this day. We thank you for this great service. We thank you for these, your great people, God. We thank you for those that are watching online, those that are here in person. God, continue to bless them and move by your power, by your spirit, and by your anointing. Just have your way in a special way, oh God. Let your power, your anointing shower down on it. God, God bless the giving on today. Bless it, oh God, that they give it a tithe and an offering. Return it back to them 100 fold. Bless those that had a desire to give and didn't have it, God. Return it back to them, oh Father God. Bless them indeed again. Bless all of us, oh Father God, for our giving and our sacrifice of giving. And bless, Lord, look on those that are sick, those that are shutting, those that are bereaved. Be with them in their hour, Father God. Strengthen them, O God. And we give your name the praise, give your name the glory, give your name the honor. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule in the Bible with us henceforth, now and forever. And all God people say amen and amen. God bless you. Let's come amen and bless our church mother on this morning.
woke me up this morning. I was clothed in my right mind. Oh, he did not let me sleep too late. Lord, he woke me right on time. Oh, he woke me up this morning. Yeah, and he started me on my way. Oh, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is blessing me. Bye.